guys welcome back to my channel well it is monthly favorites time and I have a handful of products that I have been obsessed with for the month of October and I wanted to share them with you so if you guys are interested stay tuned and keep watching so let's jump into the video I want to talk about a shampoo and conditioner that I have really been enjoying this month they are from Redken this is the Redken all soft line um, it's softness for dry brittle hair. I have relaxed hair um, My hair can get dry and because it's chemically processed it can get brittle and this works beautifully in my hair The shampoo doesn't tangle my hair or anything. I can still finger comb through my hair with the shampoo um, In my hair and that's one of the main things I look for when I use a shampoo if I use a shampoo and it totally tangles up my hair um, like the Moroccan oil shampoo does that one is horrible um, <laughs> that tangles up my hair I know a shampoo is good for my hair when I can still finger comb through it and this does that love it it smells amazing the conditioner is awesome um, it detangles like a dream but it doesn't even have to work that hard because the shampoo doesn't tangle my hair either so it's a little pricey the shampoo this size is $17.49 and the conditioner is $18.99 and I got these from Beauty Supply Outlet they do have the bigger bottles and the next time I repurchase it I will be purchasing the bigger bottle now let's talk about a body butter that I have been obsessed with for the month of October. This is Snowflakes and Cashmere from Bath and Body Works. Now for a long time, I wasn't purchasing any body care products from Bath and Body Works because I felt like all of them smelled the same after a while. But this scent, it says here, Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, frosted clementine but this scent I want it in the body butter I want it in the body spray and I want it in the body lotion because this is so good now let's jump into the makeup <laughs> I have a few things that I've been loving this month let's start off with the foundation my Lancome Taint Idol 24 hour um, makeup I love this thing. This is what I have on now. I wear the color 460 Suede W. <gasps> this is empty. This is literally empty. I'm scraping it out. I already have a backup. Like, this is empty. But I always find that there's so much foundation at the bottom of the bottle. So I have it like this way, turned upside down so I can get everything out of it. But I love this foundation. This is the foundation I wore for my wedding. Um, I've been trying out so many new foundations, but I brought this out this month. I've been wearing it to work every day, and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think I wore it the whole, the last two weeks of this month of October. I've been wearing this. The next foundation that I've been loving this month, which I wore, I think, the first half of October, was this foundation. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation and I have it in the color 71NN. This wears beautifully. It lasts all day. It's just a fabulous, fabulous foundation. It's medium coverage, which is my main, like that's my favorite. Medium coverage is my favorite foundation because I do wear a foundation powder. Um, on top of it so I like medium coverage and it is lightweight it doesn't feel cakey it's just beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful foundation and with that foundation I got a brush that I love using to put on both of those foundation and that is my Sephora Pro Diffuser 64 this buffs it especially with the Stay Naked Foundation. This buffs in the foundation so beautifully. Oh, you guys have to, have to pick up this brush. Now for foundation powder, I've been wearing this all month. Well, I've been wearing this for the last couple of months and I have to rave about it. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. This thing is transfer proof. I'm telling you, when I put this on, my makeup doesn't go anywhere. The thing I hate most about foundations when you wear them is like if you touch your face or you just kind of forget and you lean up or whatever and then you touch your papers, then you have foundation all over the paper. I hate 
that. But this thing, transfer proof. This is what it looks like. It has it comes with a puff here that if you need to touch up with when you're out, you can use it, but it just keeps me looking flawless. I have that over the Lancome foundation today and I just love this combination. Now for eyeshadows, I've been using the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. So this is the Smoky Obsession and this is the Warm Brown Obsessions. This is what it looks like. This is the Warm Brown Obsessions and then the Smoky Obsessions. As you can see, they are well loved. The reason I love these palettes is that in the morning when I want to do a quick eyeshadow look, these just they're just so easy. They're just so easy to use. I don't have to think about it. I can put one of the mattes in the crease, put one of the um, shimmer colors on the lids, and one of the darker colors in the outer V, and call it a day. And I'm good to go. I'm ready for work. They last all day. They don't crease. I really like these palettes. And another eyeshadow that I've been using, a single shadow that I've been using with these two palettes is from NARS. This is the NARS dual intensity eyeshadow in Himalaya and it's a taupey color. This thing, it's so beautiful on the lid. So beautiful on the lid and I combine it with the smoky. I combine it with the smoky obsessions palette. When I when I use this on my lid, I don't want to take it off my eyes. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you guys have it in your collection. I've been digging through my collection and using things in my collection and I'm finding all these things that I used to be obsessed with that I'm still obsessed with. So I love this shadow. This one of my favorite shadows, single shadows from NARS. Another thing that I digged out my collection was this Bobbi Brown highlighter in bronze glow. This thing used to be all the rave years ago. This is in a limited edition packaging, but as you can see, it's pretty beat up. Your girl has been using it. I love this highlighter. That's what I have on my face right now. It just gives the most beautiful, bronzy, glowy, golden shine. I just, I just love it. Love For my contour, this contour, I digged out of my collection this Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit in the shade 2 and that's what it looks like and as you can see I've hit pan and I love the shade. I forgot how much I love this shade. I was rotating through my makeup and came across this and I've been using this the whole month and I love it. Another thing that I digged out my collection from MAC is this blush. Love Joy. This is what it looks like. This gives you the most beautiful neutral glow on your on your skin. If your skin tone is around my skin tone, y'all need this in your life. And if you have it in your collection, you need to take it out cuz this here is 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 beautiful and it's the mineralized blush so it gives like a satin finish on your cheek um so for lip colors these buxom lipsticks this is the full force lipstick and i have it in boss and in triple threat i've been rocking these the whole month they're the perfect nudes for this time of year they're like deeper nudes um, and this is what they look like so this one here is boss and this one here is triple threat this triple threat terracotta nude color is so beautiful it's so beautiful it's so work appropriate man it's all the time appropriate but I just been loving these lipsticks from Buxom they have a little bit of tingly um, plumping effect to them but they're, it's not horrible it's not painful next for brows I've been using this Anastasia brow gel in the color ebony to set the outer part of my brows and I love it I love it. I don't have to fill in my brows to use this. Sometimes I'm running out the door and I will just take this and just brush this through my brows and lay them down and it gives a little bit of a color and it is beautiful. But 
I also use it as a brow set. So I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and then some of the Anastasia Duo Brow Powder and then set it with this. But I only like using this on the tail end of my brows. What I've been using on the inner part of my brows because I like that lighter is from Benefit. This is the Be Benefit Gimme Brow and this is in shade 5. And it is a lot lighter and I really like the brush on this and I just been using that to set the center, the front part of my brows because I don't want it too dark. And these are the mini sizes which I feel are perfect because you use such a small amount. Why do you need to pay the money for the full size? The last thing I want to talk about is the eyeliner. This is the Tarte Tardiest Double Take Eyeliner. It has a cold pencil on one end and it has a liquid liner on the other end and this is the liquid liner it's really black and then this is the coal liner which is really dark i've been wearing this this whole month um and it's been holding up all day i think that's all the favorites that i've been loving for the month of october you guys let me know what you guys have been loving this month leave them in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys on the next video bye guys